What's up, everybody? <clears throat> Trying to find a... Trying to find a tank for this dungeon seems near impossible. Honestly, it is ridiculous that we cannot find a group. Or like we, I found a group, but no tank. Like, it makes no sense. Out of all the players on Mancrick, there isn't one single tank leveling right now. Or like, there's not one single tank trying to do dungeons. I'm even offering a 50 gold tip, yet nothing. <laughs> like, how? I don't understand it one bit. I have to respect too, because I need a faster frost bolt. These slow frost bolts just suck. I'll give up something so I can have. Just so I can have faster frost bolts. What I'll give up, I don't know just yet. My rep paladin got pretty geared tonight. My rep paladin is officially my second most geared character now, which is crazy. Honestly, I just had to spend the gold. That's what was holding me back. Don't forget to tap those like buttons if you haven't already. It is extremely helpful to the stream. If you were in the first stream, seen all the crazy gear that I got. I honestly can't believe that I got everything that I did. Biss shoulders, biss neck, biss ring. Insane. I'm already wearing biss chest and biss weapon, which is just wild. It's always something. Either you can't find a healer or you can't find a tank. <laughs> like, the fact that they don't have random dungeon finder is just so frustrating. This stupid group finder tool sucks. Oh, of course. Hey, Mr. Ryan. What's going on, bud? Welcome to the stream. What up, Marco? Yes, let's go. We finally got a tank. Okay, that didn't take too long. Definitely took longer than I'd like, but not terrible. I should AOE level. AOE, yeah. <laughs> AOE leveling on my mage was fun in vanilla. It sucks that they got rid of uh, the AOE cap that mages had. Or like, it sucks that they added an AOE cap. So dumb. Hey, Marco, thank you for the 483 days of followage. Let's go. So yeah, after we get to level 71, we're, uh, we're gonna do Alterac Valley, see how much honor you get per AV game, and we'll go from there. Well, why do I have so many? Rank 1, yeah, okay, rank 1 Blizzard cost the same. Oh, I already have Mana Shield there. Frostword I'll put there, that I'll put there. Amplify magic I can put somewhere. Close to 500, getting there man. Uh -uh. 
Go underwater to Lever Roth. Uh, I'll skip that. Hey, Mr. Ryan with the 27 months of supportage. Dude, thank you so freaking much. Cannot tell you how much I appreciate that. So happy we got a uh, paladin tank as well. It's going to make this so much easier. Hopefully Matt gets on in a little bit. I might only level for, I don't know, an hour or so. Oh no way, Bamlan went to uh, Ash Candy. Huh. Oh damn it, I hit escape at the worst time ever. Come on, tell me the summon's still there. Tell me the summon's still there. Yes. Alright, let's do it to it. Increases armor and frost resistance. So let's go with mage armor. Increases your resistance to all magic and allows 50% of your mana regen. It causes fire damage when hit. Increases your crit strike by 35% of your spirit. Reduces the chance you're critically hit. Uh. Huh. I wonder what mages use for PvE. I've honestly never looked at their. I should have put a table down. Blizzard gets significantly buffed both in base damage and its ability to crit. Because of this, frost damage modifiers, piercing ice, secret gold uh, damage modifiers, ice shards. <clears throat> have access, simply spamming. Blizzard is very strong in specific scenarios. Using our arcane explosion would be helpful if you have to move. TBC or basic. Now in wrath, it's a spec built around reacting to different procs you get from your talents in order to cast instant spells with higher benefit as well as spells which you can only cast if you have certain procs. Fingers of Frost, cast Deep Freeze, I don't have that yet. When you get Brain Freeze, cast Frost Fire Bolt. Hmm, I guess I should join the Mage Dude Discord.
join Mage Passage. Oof. channel crossfire and rk reacts choose build right in cross perfect okay pve frequently asked questions They just seem pretty complicated with like munching and whatnot. What are the conversions for rating? How much spell gift do I need? 17% for level 83. What is my piss? What professions are piss? Oh, these mana biscuits. Oh no, they're level 65. Alright. Well, that's decent. <clears throat> what spec should I run in Old War? All oh, this is going to be already have an arcane or retina raid. Otherwise, you should be arcane. messages say mage speed leveling guide here you will find a lot of information on how to speed run your leveling doing most likely aoe grind there is an in-game add-on called guideline you can use just to follow the step you can download guideline on her storage guard keep three pull seven minutes and 28 seconds oh you guys want to see some uh aoe pulling oh my god it's been so long since i've done it I think I should do it. It's been so long since I've been to, uh, since I've farmed dungeons, like AoE dungeons. Apparently, you have to be fire. Almost 1 million XP per hour. Upguard key. Upguard key. That's fire mage, eh? I've never played fire mage. I'm more used to frost mage, but. Arcane is so good. Dude, I'm sorry. I was on a second screen. <laughs> really miss playing, debating on some of the laptop we got that I never use anymore. No time with the new baby. That's understandable, man. Hey, you never know. The time might come back, though. Might be worth keeping it just to see if uh, time frees up in the future. Arcane. I haven't played Arcane either. I've really only played Frost. Yeah, in vanilla, in vanilla, I pretty much, or yeah, in vanilla, I only use my mage to AOE level <laughs> and like do dungeon runs, like help people level in dungeons. That's literally the only thing that I did. You know what they say about curiosity. My frost bolts are so slow. Oh 
holy shit. That was a lot of damage. Arcane Blast and Arcane Missiles and Brockets. That's awesome. Is it the same in uh, Wrath of Lich King? I know in TVC that's all it was, was just spam Arcane, Arcane Blast and top the now DPS meters. <laughs> I think it is what you do in, uh, in Wrath still. I totally forgot to use my uh, cooldowns till the end there. Duh. That's hilarious. But yeah, pretty much top the meters, like without a doubt. <laughs> I think I'm gonna try, <clears throat> um, why can't I move that? It's so frustrating. I'm gonna try AoE leveling, it's been so long since I've done it, I freaking love AoE leveling, <clears throat> especially in dungeons. have such strong AoE capabilities. I should be using Flame Strike and Blizzard. It's coming back to me, I just <laughs> just gotta remember it all. It's been so long since I've like played mage. Even in TBC, I don't think I ever raided on my mage. Like he's still wearing level 60 gear, like the Netherwind stuff from uh a Nick <laughs> from Nixia, from Blackwing Lair. Holy blast from the past. Increases the radius of arcane explosion, flame strike, and blizzard by 25%. Reduces threat generated. Uh the eight set is 10% chance after casting. Arcane Missile Fireball the Frost Bully next spell will be instant cast. That's pretty cool. Damn, clear cast after clear cast. That's lucky. The thing that I really like about soloing dungeons is the gold that you get afterward. That makes it so worth it. I should get a food buff too. I probably have to go train. I don't remember the last time that I trained. Trained my abilities. Exactly going as fast as I would like it to. Oh shit, do I need that?
Switch to Cal, Combat on the Road, favorite spec ever for that expansion. <laughs> They're definitely gonna do Cataclysm. People are saying that they won't play it, but I will. Might as well, right? Man, I'm asking this guy to give me that offhand and he won't do it. What a dick. <clears throat> Oh well. Doesn't matter, I'll level it in no time anyway. Man, I need to increase the speed of my frost bolt so bad. Ace bands. Whoops. I should have grabbed the quest before coming here. <clears throat> oh well, not a big deal. How is the new baby, man? <clears throat> we ended up getting a new puppy. We got a, uh... We got a miniature schnauzer. <clears throat> I think you saw the post, possibly. Such a cute dog, but she bugs the absolute shit out of all of her. <laughs> Feels so bad for him. He doesn't really like her. He'll still like lay with her and stuff, but like he wants nothing to do with her. There we go, that's what I wanted to do. Ooh, I can spell steal that, I think. Did I? Magic resistance increase. 
Steel is a beneficial repair because you can't last a match for two minutes. Oh, it does work! Dude, that's cool. Your spells treat the target as if it were frozen. Oh, that's Fingers of Frost. Okay. Puff player fingers of frost. That's gonna help so much. Cause that'll let me know when I can uh huge cool that I can herbalize all these things. It sucks that I don't get uh, skill ups from it though. I wish I could get the, the damage buff crystal bloom. That would be so cool. Geared. My red paladin got like really close to this tonight. So cool. Fifty-eight to seventy-seven is an AOE grind. What's your stats? Stop attacking. What's your stat? your step. <laughs> yeah, this this XP actually has been pretty good. Yes, yes, yes. 
66 to 77. Upguard keep. Wow, you do upguard keep until level 77. Like you can AOE upguard keep to 77. And then there's a seal hyper smaller from 69. Oh, that's 69 to 70. Duh. Sholazar Bay Zin is Venture Company Hyper Spawn. And then Ice Crown is 78 to 80, but it doesn't have the world map there. Spot test. Upguard keep 68 to 77. XP per run 200k. Time per run. Six minutes and thirty seconds. I might go check this out right now. Well, after this dungeon, I mean, I might even level after this dungeon though. Seven thousand XP per kill. That's awesome. Oh, it's a full frost um, spec for AoE and upgrade keep. Nice. And I can, well, no, I probably can't wear heirlooms while doing dungeons. Preserve? Why? There's no truth in it. No, no, no. <laughs> Only I see it now. Holy shit, that tail is long. <laughs> Man, the mage discord has crazy AOE guides. Tells you where to go for everything, like, it's huge. bars left toxic dark bubbles that dark bubbles one uh, lots of shit That's crazy you can do it from level 68. Hey, what up, Matt? 
What's going on, Hayden? I'm doing great, buddy. Next month is a year and six months that I've been back on the wagon. Sober wagon, that is. <laughs> do have stuff to trade. What do you got here? And I definitely need dual talent spec. How you doing, man? Hell yeah, man. Thank you very much, dude. Got my herbalism to 375. Hey there. Oh right, I probably have to go to Shat to train or sorry, Dalaran. Can you when do you learn the Dalaran portals? Can you go there at level 70? Probably not, eh? I need regions. Man, it took so long to find a tank. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna try uh Dungeon AoE leveling with uh Upguard Key. Three hundred and forty-one thousand XP, so it'd be six hundred and seventy-eight K per hour, but that's with rested XP, like rested experience. Rune of teleportation, rune of portals. Farewell. Uh, yeah, I can get a mage to port me out there. I think you can get it at level 70, right? How much time do you put it on? Put it on, put it in off stream. Onto the game? Not that much, actually. If I'm playing, I'm usually streaming. Start using those fell blossoms. It's kind of cool. I should be using those battle elixirs too. Oh, that's elixir of healing power. Increases spell power by 24, spear by 24. That's not bad. Wow. <laughs> Dream foil went down in price, huge. Golden sand, Sam. Ah, see, one dick posted for so much cheaper than the others. That's a better price. See, look at this guy. He thinks he's clever. Really, he's just giving stuff away. Two gold per. Oh, you know what? Uh, let's buy those. And then we can post it for 240, actually. Hell. There we go. Bam. <laughs> now I just gotta hope that it sells. Wow, fell weed is cheap, eh? Holy. I didn't think fell weed would be that cheap, but is it ever? Dreaming glory, pretty cheap. Terracone, nice price on Terracone. Gotta love that. Fell lotus. Buzzard meat, nobody probably buys that. Frost weave cloth, back up to a gold four. Gold clover, cheap. Tiger lily, cheap. Lich bloom, nice. That's actually a good price. Red helper box. I should buy these two and then repost, but nobody's gonna pay. Yeah, nobody's gonna pay that. I'll just keep hold on to it. Actually, nah. Uh, yeah, let's get rid of it. Okay. Don't have bag space to be carrying junk around. Especially if I'm gonna do dungeons. This stuff I'm gonna disenchant too. Oh wow, that's pretty awesome. It's crazy how much better those boots are than mine. <laughs> Same with these wrists. Okay, these gloves can be disenchanted.
primal life. People still buy those? What? 1,052 gold. Like, what? <laughs> How? Is that even a thing? People must be laundering gold or something through the auction house. Nice, that Shadow Priest actually saw my message about the uh, offhand and he's gonna give it to me. Well. So sweet. Enchanting would be great to have for leveling. You would get so much freaking stuff. I'd like to keep those just for nostalgia, but... Same with, like, Freezing Band. Alright. Let's do it to it. Now that we've got some decent bag space. Get rid of spirit shards. I don't need those anymore. Wow, it's been so long since I've opened this character. A torn letter? Like, why do I still have that? Take the torn letter to keep the roll keeper of the rolls at Lights Hope Chapel in Eastern Flagland. Should I keep this? Like, it's 9,000 XP. That's not bad for a level 45 quest. I don't know what it goes to. A torn letter. Let's look up the quest. Oh, it's from the invasion. Yeah, who cares? Objective of... Oh, no, wait, no, that's not it. What's the quest? Letter from the front. Yeah, it's from the Scourge Invasion. <laughs> Blood and thunder. Useless. Still carrying freaking bijous. Necrotic runes, those are garbage. A cat carrier, a corner shrex. Steel lock box, locked. Increase your reputation with the whatever tribe. Corrupt their Scourge stones. Omox head. <laughs> like, why do I have this what stuff? I'm such a pack rat. Crypt fiend parts. Minion scourge stone. Invader scourge stone. Dark iron residue. Might as well vendor that. Citrine pendant of golden healing. Might as well sell that because I'm not a jewel crafter. Black belt with empty. 
crystal, essence of undeath, sell it, elemental earth, sell it, heart of the wild, ghost mushrooms, life root, briar thorn, sell, 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 rage veal, mountain silver sage, more fell weed, dreaming glory, fire bloom, sun grass, purple lotus, grom's blood, gold thorn I'll keep, fade leaf, swift thistle I'll keep, wild steel bloom, solid stone, thorn and bar, shadow silk, Silk cloth, mage reef cloth, resplendent guardian. Oh my god, that's a twink item. Block rating by five, a level 26 item. I'm glad I kept that actually. I'm gonna keep these shoulders just because they look badass. And then I'll keep that. Uh, I'm gonna keep this stuff for nostalgia reasons. Onyxia scale cloak, nostalgia reasons. <laughs> Yet again. Um, Royal Seal of Eldrathalus. Delete. Victory. So no funny, remember, like needing fire res for uh, raids. Eye of the Beast. Delete. Defiler's Talisman. Delete. Philosopher's Stone. Required for Alchemy Transmutation. Argent Dawn Commission. Drake Fire Amulet, I'm keeping it. Ring of Binding. Increases defense rating by six. I remember I'd use that for uh, AoE leveling. Or like for not, uh, what's it called? Um, the uh, Nature one, Mar Maradon, that's it. Citrines, Mossa Gate, Aquamarines, Glowing Brightwood Staff, so dope. Nature res out the wazoo. Soul keeper. Might as well sell that. Scepter of Celebris. Azure Song Mage Blade. I can't believe I still have my Mage Blade. It's awesome. Plus Wizard Oil. Shadow Oil. Hourglass Sand. <laughs> Cures the user of Brute Affliction Bronze. I can't believe I still have that. Um, raw Black Truffle. Winterfall, fire water, arcane protection, potions, just random potions. All right, let's go sell all this shit. Such a blast from the past. I love seeing that stuff. It's awesome. Ah, I have just the thing for you. When applied to a melee weapon, it gives a 50% chance of casting a Shadow Bolt at the opponent when it hits. Last 30 minutes cannot be applied to item levels higher than 165. I wonder if- Oh, requires level 24. You can use that in PvP. Dude, that's definitely a twink thing. Soul Keeper. Scepter of Celebris. Blessed Wizard. Hey. So I'll just vendor that, vendor that. Vendor action I'll sell this all the stone. Heart of the wild, no one's gonna buy. Nature res rings, hilarious. Zanza's band and Zanza's seal. Ring of binding. So funny. Place within the cursed cauldron. That's an old one. I don't think I need that anymore either. That I do. Rune of teleportation. Conjured croissant. Glacial water. Potions. Zandalar honor token. I wonder if you can still buy uh, Swift Potions of Zanza. Swift Potions of Zanza. I'd imagine you can. You should be able to. Alright, let's go put these herbs on the auction house, and then we'll finish with the bank, and then we'll put everything useless away that we don't need. Hey, Nut. How's it going? Aw, oh, it's only 100 gold? That sucks. Yeah, I'm not selling that. Alright. Thorium Bar. Dream Foil. Golden Sand Sam. 
Oh, the silver sage. Bellweed. Rage Veal, Briarthorn. Can't remember what Briarthorn is for, but it seems cheap enough now, so. Life Root is actually a decent price. Huh. Fade Leaf, Mage Weave Claw, Fire Bloom, Elemental Earth, Solid Stone. Whoa, Fell Lotus. Purple Lotus, sorry, is up there. Sungrass? Why is Sungrass so expensive? I guess for leveling and... Uh, whoa! Four, three gold for Ghost Mushrooms? Run through Maradon? You probably... Nah, oh, man, I should go AoE Maradon. I bet even that would just be a, gold, a good gold farm. Moss, a gate, a gat, whatever. Citrines. Aquamarines are 50 gold? Wow. <laughs> That's crazy. Free action potions? Wow, there isn't even any on the auction house. I should make those. Triangle Kelp and Black Melt Oil. Huh. That'd be... A Yo, alchemy is good money. Should get some weird kind of potions. Get rid of these super weird potions. Some runic mana, runic healing. Wow, they're actually pretty expensive. Uh, no, this is, uh, I should, I was thinking about it. I'm just going to keep my level one as my, um, auction house spot. Probably bring my paladin and just have him sit out front of the dungeon. Fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20. Damn. Now I've got Guardian Elixirs and Battle Elixirs. Even though there's probably better ones than Elixir of Healing Power. It doesn't really matter. Ooh, is it a skull? doesn't show. Okay, I can't have too much garbage. Or like, I can't have too much stuff in my bags. Forgot to post the shadow oil. And then I gotta send the iron skin to someone else. One of my other characters. Wow, nine gold. I need to make that stuff. You're good, and I, I understood what you're saying. No worries. You know what? I'm just gonna sell those to get rid of them. All right, let's go put some of this other stuff in the bank, like this stupid toy, Path of Illidan. Leaves a thick flickering fell fire in your wake. What are you? Unnecessary. Winter veal, eggnog. Again, unnecessary to keep in my bags. Free action potions. They might help, actually. I'm going to take those with me. 
Um, those can go away. Those can go away. I think that's it. I think we're good. Did I put that? Okay, I did. Good. Um, oh, one more thing. Strength and honor. Okay. Now I've got lots of bag space. Let's watch this video on AoE leveling. Or AoEing uh, upguard keep. This does utilize the living bomb glyph, which will not be available during pre-patch and early wrath of the Lich King. Looks like he used rocket boots too, which I'm not gonna have. Looks like he's doing this in fire. Pretty smart place to do it. Just run around in a circle. Is living bomb instant? I guess it is. How is he keeping his mana up so high? Like what? Surprise is not cross nobody. Congratulations, you have reached level 72. We are also gonna check out the run. Where they do it uh, as frost. Oh no, it is Fire Mage AoE farm. Almost 1 million XP per hour. Hey, what is going on, guys? Esquire here, back again with another Mage AoE farm coming out of Wrath of the. Yeah, it's three full as well. You know what? I'd rather watch this guy because at least he talks and explains what he's doing. So it looks like we're going fire, ladies and gentlemen. Asking me, Esquire, what's going to happen if Blizzard no longer works in here? What, what's going to happen if you can no longer use any type of Frost Novas? Well, my friends, this could be the answer. In oh, fact, it's yeah. actually going to be the most XP that we've been able to pull from it any is. dungeon so far here in the beta for Wrath of the Lich King. Now, a quick rundown. I totally of the, forgot of the that, that you can't uh, Frost Nova. Though. As you can see, it's mostly Tier 6 gear, Sunwell Plateau, Black Temple. But the most important thing to note is the fact that without Zanza, we are going to be utilizing the Glyph of Blink. This gives us an extra five yards range on our Blink distance, and that's going to be just enough to give us that safe range on these mobs. Gotta go respec. Actually, wait, no, I don't. I forgot I bought my secondary spec. Without further ado, guys, let's go ahead and hop into the pull itself. These first two mobs, we're going to handle them with our Dragon's Breath. This is going to confuse the bombs they run around, gives us that safe passage to then continue on with the pull. From this point on, it, it, it's pretty similar to how the, the frost pull worked. However, you want to be utilizing your living bomb at any opportunity possible. Make sure that you're panning your camera around, casting the little living bombs on any target that doesn't currently have a living bomb, letting those living bombs expire at their no, end that's not duration. A voice changer. One thing to note is that you have to be using your blink very, very, very smartly here. You've got to be utilizing it pretty much as soon as the mobs are getting relatively close to your backside. You don't want to always rely on Nova or Kona of Cold or Blast Wave. You want to keep the mobs as packaged as possible. And blink is, is with the glyph, just enough to do so. 
Now that we've been able to collect all of the mobs, it's business as usual, guys. Kite them around the circle, utilize your blink, keep casting the living bombs, and the mobs will die. This is the great Once the mobs start to get too. low health, they do run slower. So one little trick to make sure that they stay nicely packaged and that those living bombs are doing as much damage as possible is to take them to the far edge of the room, use your blink to cut in towards the actual forge itself, and this will kind of act as a repackage of the mobs. This is going to be fun. I'm really looking forward to this. I can't believe this is the first time that I've looked into AoE leveling. I used to love grinding dungeons. Like, it was my favorite thing to do. I can't believe I stopped. And helping people level with aoe like this is gonna one be one thing to note in this pool without using zanza it is going to be dangerous there are going to be situations where you know you need to be careful you might need to use a health pot but it's not a big deal don't let that discourage you it is a hard pull but the fact that you're being able to save yourself the extra trip back to yojamba isle to get another zanza if you die or if it expires it's massive it's worth it guys believe me I might go get his ons anyway. So we've gone ahead and finished the first pull that was accomplished in around 2 minutes and 15 seconds. You can get it in about 1 minute and 15, uh, 50 seconds rather, if you're being incredibly efficient. Up next is going to be pull number 2, the Proto Drake Room. Make sure that you're not drinking, you're basically inside of the room itself. You want to stop on the stairs or so, basically where I stopped, so that you don't trigger the Proto Drake that's going to fly down from the ceiling. You'll see it in just a second. We invis into the room, look up, that's the Proto Drake I was talking about. Give it a few seconds to get down, cast a living bomb on every target now, starting with the Proto Drake that's flying down. You want to gather all of these mobs, it's very important, don't worry about the Proto Drake behind us, it's bugged, it will never pull, and then Ice Block. Let the mobs all gather around us once we've got them, kind of synced up on their attacks. Cancel your block, blink out of there. Start casting more living bombs, hit the side mob with a living uh, bomb, yes. and then use rocket your rocket boots. boots, get out of there, get back to the main room, and then we take them around the circle again, guys. Same concept, except we're not going to be utilizing any blast waves, cones of cold, or anything like that. We've got enough distance on these mobs that we're going to be able to kill them, no problems at all. Now, one of the things that we need to kind of look at with this pull is where do we stop? Do we do all three pulls, this being the second of three, or do we stop at number two and then go out, reset five times, and go out and quest? It, it, it's yet to be seen, yet how maybe quickly we can maximize this run. But give us a few days, give us a few weeks, and I'm sure we'll figure it out. These Proto Drakes give insane XP. They give basically twice the XP of a normal mob in here, so they're incredibly juicy, guys. Wow, he's just destroying them. I don't know. This is going to be interesting. I'm excited to see how this goes. I have a feeling I'm going to have a hard time with it, but... Uh... Oh, wow. He figured out how to do it in one pull. Wow. Let's see if there's a better one. Upgard, keep. Upgard, so with the mobs keep. pretty much almost dead, it just becomes a, a game of continuing to kite them. Yeah, see, that's the problem is my gear is going to be shit. Wow, this guy's got it down to one pole. Music's messed up. <laughs> but you do have to use Blast Wave. So what is he just gonna do the one the one room? Let's 
Let's fast forward and see where he goes. Oh no, he's going for it. No shit. He isn't using a Zanza either. Wow. Interesting. Huh. Ballsy. You could get one shot so easily there. How did he do damage and then he mu- uh. Oh. So I need some- I need- It's old as World of Warcraft itself. Gear. Most of the mages doing these Utgard key pulls were in late TBC gear or at least decent leveling gear. If that's you, you can skip ahead a few minutes, but while I do believe that for a seasoned mage, doing these runs in freshly boosted gear is totally doable, I might even be able to do it now, I realized pretty quickly that I would need some help. Getting just a few pieces of gear to boost your stamina and intellect will be huge while learning how to kite these mobs. It'll oh, give you just sucks. a little more survivability, so that you can run a little further before you die. Because, yes, if you're new to this, chances are you're going to die. A lot. What I did was to do the intro quests in Howling Fjord, plus the Utgard Keep dungeon quests together with a group. It gave me a decent amount of XP and a couple of blue items. Then I went over to Borean Tundra and rode straight to Kaldara. I did those quests so that I were able to pick up all the Nexus dungeon quests. I was lucky and did the Nexus twice and managed to get most of the intellect gear that drops there. Note, you have to be level 71 to use these items, so it's beneficial to have done the intro in Howling Fjord and Kaldara first so that you can actually equip these items. Damn. Great! You're now level 71, have a few pieces to boost your HP so that you won't die from the first melee attack you fail to kite, have a little bit of a bigger mana pool, yeah, and- I definitely need more gear, shit. Only need two more things before you enter Utgard Keep. Glyph of Blink, and a speed enchant on your boots. Glyph of Blink gives you five more yards to your blink, which will be crucial, and should be cheap enough on the auction house. When it comes to the speed enchant, the vanilla version is enough. The TBC and Wrath versions are great since they give you a little more stamina, but the minor speed increase is the important part. I ran with the vanilla enchant without a stamina boost and it worked. Now, this is a Fire Mage solo run, not the classic Frost improved Blizzard build that has been the go-to for vanilla and TBC. This means- Let's get these real quick. New template, mage, fire AoE. Uh, okay. Oh wait, this is it? This is the... Is it the same as this? No, it's not. Not at all. So I think I'm gonna go with the one that this guy has. Let's get our the talent set up real quick first, anyway. Look like that. Increase the critical strike chance. Reduce the cast of your fireball. Your critical strikes and fire damage spells have a chance. Causes burn. Additional 40% of your spell damage over four. Spells damage over four seconds. Your silence gives you 50% chance of crit. That's pretty cool. Increases the crit strike chance of spells. Increases the range of all fire spells except frostfire bolts. Hurls an immense fiery. Blah blah blah. Master of Elements. Your spell criticals will refund. Oh, that's how they get all the mana back. That's so cool. Increases the crit strike and fire spells. A wave of. Yep, last wave. Gives you a 5% chance when hit by a melee range to increase your movements by 50% and dispel all movement. Wow, that's huge too. 10% chance when hit. 
Increased fire damage. Pyromaniac. Increased chance to crit. Allows 50% of mana regen. Combustion when activated. This spell increases your crit strike. Wow, by 50%. And causes each of your fire damage hits to increase your crit strike chance by 10%. This effect lasts until you have caused three non periodic critical strikes with fire spells. Increases damage of all spells against targets with less than 35% health by 12%. Increases the damage of Fireball, Frost Fireball, Pyroblast, 50% of your spell power in addition. Each time your Ignite talent causes damage, you have a 100% chance to regain 2% of your base mana. Ignite. Your crits from fire damage spells. Oh wow, that's huge, dude. The mana regen is massive. Targets in a cone, Dragon's Breath. Yeah, that's to slow them down. Fire starter. Your damaging blast wave and dragon's wrath spells have a fifty percent chance to make your next flame strike spell cast instant and cost no mana. Burno increases your spell crit damage bonus with all spells by fifty percent, but your non-periodic spell critical cost an additional five percent of the spell's cost. Really? Non-period so like non-dots cost an additional five percent. That's crazy. And living bomb that gets us to level sixty. Next, we're going to reduce the chance. Okay. Increases your chance to hit. That's huge. Clear cast. That's level 70. Actions apply template. What the hell? Oh, right, cause it's... <laughs> I was like, why is it changing the name? Let's see what kind of gear we can get. <sighs> Battle cast hood requires tailoring. Why would anybody in their right mind pay 7 13k for that? Reduces casting time or channeling time loss when damaged by 5%. It sucks you have to be a tailor to use that stuff because that would be a huge help for uh, AOEing. Belt of Blasting. Bracers of Nimble Thoughts. Eh. Cancel su successful spell cast to restore mana. Crystal weave bracers. Girdle of ruination. Why so expensive? Ninety five hundred gold. People are smoking jib out of a light bulb. How does that have no stamina? <laughs> Life giving cloak, <laughs> spell power, no stamina, resolute cape, soul cloth gloves. And it's got stamina. Bracers, girdle, 
spell of fire hood. Man, I wish you didn't have to have tailoring to use the spell of fire stuff. Sunfire hand wraps. 5,000 gold? People are crazy. I'm going to see. You know what? I can make these. <laughs> Those Sunfire hand wraps would be a huge help. Terox Wisdom. Then Vengeance Wrap. White Bend Hood. Will of Edward the Odd. Or Intellect. 16 less stamina. Damn, if that had stamina on it, I would get it. Alright, let's look at the greens that we got. Even blues would be good. 2,900 gold? Crown of the Sea Witch? That's nuts, dude. People must have reset the prices on stuff since WoW tokens came out. <laughs> I swear to God. Crystal Weave Cape. Let's go see what I bought so far. Just so I can equip it. Just belt and cloak, right? Okay. 63 stamina. See, that's what I need. That's awesome. Flame heart gloves. Flame heart vest. Imbued nether weave robe. I just bought a chest, right? Yeah, I did. Legs. Helmet, 62 stamina, perfect. Oh, 290 gold, not perfect. <laughs> but I do need that. What is it, mammoth hair crown? You know what I'll do, I'll get on my... Uh, during joyous journeys, Dalton, it can help immensely it can be good with uh joyous journeys without joyous journeys it's not great i don't know how much xp you get per run just yet but i will find out probably tomorrow because uh i'm probably i don't know i don't even know if i'm gonna get to this tonight the uh i'm not sure if i'm gonna get to what i'm trying to do tonight Absolutely, man. Sorry for the late reply. A little bit of a late reply. some extra gold maybe we will well, I'm not gonna buy any of that stuff but the soul cloth gloves might be worth it 12 stamina and 12 stamina it's just so expensive sunfire hand wraps I need to see if my warlock can make those real quick I'm not spending 5,000 gold on gloves that I'm going to replace it at 80. I think I can make those Sunfire hand wraps. If I can, I guarantee it'll be way cheaper than buying them. Please, see, I can make them. Oh, I can only make the robe. No. And it's BOP. Damn it. Hold on. Ah, 
God damn it. Somebody that can make these sunfire hand wraps. Ten spell cloth. So ten would be six hundred and ninety gold. Shadow cloth. So like eleven 1 hundred and then. 1100. Oh, dude, those are so cheap. You know what? I'm gonna buy the mats right now. Stack twenty. I'll buy the stack twenty. Sun moat six. Oh my god, there's only two on the auction house. No, Probably should have just bought the gloves. <laughs> So annoying. Well, oh well. It is what it is. I'm gonna have to go to Sunwell Plateau and see if I can farm that place for Sun Mows. I'm pretty sure Sunmo's dropped off trash. Drops from mobs inside Sunwell. Lady Sacrilege Brutalis. Okay, it drops off the off the mob off the trash. And it's got like a 14%, 13% chance, that's not bad. If I can figure out how to AoE it, I'll be good. Uh, let's go with Thoth, usable items, search. I don't want to pay 3k for them. They're good clubs, don't get me wrong. Uh, and like, they would last into leveling. If I bid, I'm not going to have any gold left, though. Whatever, let's skip him for right now. So I can get a lot better items for a lot cheaper. Well, I can get decent items for cheaper. Crown of the Sea Witch, I'm not paying 2,900 gold.
and stamina is that worth well the crit strike will help too actually so i have boots uh for 20 gold that's worth it i have shoulders already have wrists that's basically it Helm of the burning soul is not bad honestly I've already gained like 2500 HP so that's pretty helpful doesn't have any stamina I guess I could stick some stamina gems in it <laughs> yeah I might as well do that what's my hit chance 1.82 percent great should have bought more hit items I should just look at what I need. Alright, I need pants. Let's search. Thirty-one stamina. That's attractive. Even if it doesn't have any spell power. That has no stamina. That's only intellect, just stamina spirit. Is there any of the eagle? Leggings of concentrated darkness. Huh, you know what? Even though they don't have stamina, or sorry, spell power, they've got lots of stamina, which is good. Sorry, not. Oh, damn it. Bracers. Ah, whatever. Actually, you know what? Ah, whatever. Let's see what else there is. Bracers of Havoc. Yeah, none of this stuff is gonna have stamina spell power in. Let's go see what the Bracers of Nimble Thought cost. And if I can even make them. open stuff. <clears throat> I forgot that there's going to be decent greens that can be used. Instead of trying to run tonight, I'm probably just going to close the stream up, but we'll see. Frost 
Frost Woven's not much better. Ah, uh, Mystic Frost Woven. Loves. Those are a lot better. Cheap, too. Leggings, nice and cheap. Oh, they have to be 72. Whatever, we'll hold off on those then. Boots, I already have. Belt, I already have. Ooh, the stamina though. No, perfect. One, two. Actually, Mystic Bot. Um, shit, what's this, the intellect gem? Definitely keeping my frost. <laughs> the Netherwind. Pants, belt, and helmet. I wish I had the shoulders, but oh well. Everything else can go. Wow, that's way better than what I started. to check out ring and neck Miscellaneous usable items, sir. Ninety eight gold, I'll take it. It's Ivy Choker Pentance. So weird seeing strength and spell power on the same item. Each time you deal with melee range, you gain six attack power. Madness. Each time you land a killing blow, you gain the power of madness. Vengeance. You have 51 stamina. You have a 10% chance when hit by an attack to deal holy damage. Wrath. Each time one of your direct damage attacks is not really striking. 17 crit strike and 17 spell crit for the next 10 seconds. Lola's eye. Ah, uh, yep. Nice, that's a cheap set. Yeah, the two ring. 
the frozen eye, the natural ward, true strike ring, Adge of tenacity, chain of the twilight opal. I can't believe people ask for that much gold for this stuff. Six hundred gold? There's no way I would spend that much. Get ready by twenty-five. Transform you into a giant gray wolf? What? I like the hit rating on it. And like I say, the 37 stamina. That's worth it. 470 gold? Take it. Alright, I need one more ring. <clears throat> Select spell power. I need something to replace the scenarian ring of casting. So something with more than 24 stamina. That <laughs> riding crop. Those are expensive. It does not work for players above level 70. Gorilla, agility, frost, falcon. Where's all the of the eagle stuff? Oh, glass ring of the eagle. I'll take it. Alright, I'm ready to go. That's crazy, the Charlotte's Ivy and Lola's Eve was on the auction house for less than 200 gold for the set. That's awesome. And oh, I need a wand. Rituals of the New Moon. That's a freaking awesome. Uh, that's an awesome offhand. 8.3k HP. I like that. Blade of Wizard Tree. Sixty-three thousand gold. The night blade, crystal infused shiv, flaming torch staff, <clears throat> a bringer of death. Twenty-three. So oh, here we go. Twenty-three stamina, fifteen intellect. That's what we're going with for now. My weapon's pretty good actually. 168 spell power, 33 stamina, 19 intellect. I don't think I'm gonna find anything better than that. And I'm not gonna find Oh, that right there. Well it's only spell it's like 10 spell power. I'd rather have the intellect. Eighty five hundred HP. Oh, right, trinket. Duh. I'm tempted to get one of these dark moon. Like, 500 HP is not bad. High power flashlight. Hit rating. Summons are gonna light on a specific location. Uther's strength. Wow, there's not much option not many options for uh trinkets, eh? Like I might be getting vengeance then. 
that 51 stamina is probably going to be better than uh, Talisman of Ephemeral Power. and see what uh, if I can still buy Zanzas. I wonder how much Bijus are on the auction house. Five hundred gold. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> they are still in the auction house. No way. That's hilarious. They're kind of expensive, but they're worth it. Good to have a frost bolt. I'll rank one frost bolt to slow singular mobs. When activated, the swell increases your critical strike bonus. second cooldown on blast wave holy That's so cool. I like that. Soul Keeper, Evocation. 
mouse over. Mouse over D curse. That's what I... to get a ring. Oh wait, no, I didn't. Right there. Perfect. Beautiful. 9,503 HP, 8,200 intellect. I like it. I got all new gear. I'm not wearing anything from <laughs> that was from level 60 anymore. Sweet. Actually, that's a lie. I'm still wearing the Xandalarian Hero Charm. mine posted for two gold 30 people have undercut down to a gold 30 like that's just ruthless whatever i'm just gonna buy them all get it back to at least two gold or 215 anyway actually yeah fuck it get it back to 215 everything we just bought. I can't stand when people undercut by so much. Like, it ruins the economy, undercutting that much. surprise me if people undercut again down to a gold 30. It's just crazy. pay for the shago okay never mind thought i was overpaying for the shadow claw <laughs> yeah okay i paid 39 gold i did not overpay good Technically, I- oh shit, I just posted the- oh, whatever, I might as well just repost it. Unless I can get those sun boats, which I probably won't be able to do. That strangle kelp. Right, those things you turn in for XP are what you use to buy the Zanzas. Shit, and I use them. Oh well, what can you do? What can you do?
Wait, what? Oh. <laughs> Thank God. I was like, why can't I break them? Man, breaking bijous brings me back. Teleport, getting summoned all over Azeroth to get buffs. I miss Classic. I really do. I don't think it'll ever be the same again. Like Classic Era. We'll never get the same experience. Well, maybe. I don't know. Zenza's potent multiples. Swiftness of Zenza. Stay away from me. I wonder if you can carry more than one at a time. I don't think you can. Oh my god, these are back down to two gold and two silver? Bruh! They were at three gold! Why would people undercut by a gold? It makes no sense, dude. None whatsoever. It was a three gold and seven silver. Whoever posted the 50 stacks is an idiot. Just saying. Absolute idiot. Ruining the market. <laughs> oh well. Somebody will reset the price again tomorrow, I'm sure. Back down to three gold. Or back up to three gold, rather. Talk to me, Visenya. Lita. Nope. Can't do it. Well, alright. I think I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to get off for tonight, but tomorrow... We're going to be doing upgrade keep dungeon runs. Dungeon... Grinding, whatever. So where I've got a raid at what? Oh, tomorrow's Saturday, right? I don't have a raid till tomorrow night. So yeah, tomorrow we're definitely doing some. Uh, we're definitely doing some dungeons. Bye, everybody. Good night. Thanks for hanging out, Ryan. If you're still here, I really do appreciate it. Annette, have a good night. Bye, everybody. Good night, Annette.